Welcome back, my friends. Last day of February. Mm. Well, all month long, we are celebrating the Mall of America, which turns 30 years old this year. And while a lot has happened at the mall over those three decades, the sky's the limit for the future. Kendall is taking us back to the mall to see what's to come. Look. Mall of America is an institution here, but some of this, like this, is all new, and I want to learn more about it. We were there, and now we made it to here. Why is this an important little marker, Dan? This is important because this is where the north entrance to the mall used to be, and now we're looking at our newest expansion that includes JW Marriott, an office tower, and these wonderful new stores. How is the mall always continuing to sort of evolve and make things aesthetically pleasing? We invest a lot of money in our property. We've redone all of our mall common areas so they have a white palette. And the idea behind that is so that they're a blank canvas. So that rather than the mall shining, it's fresh and inspiring, right. but our tenants can shine and they can exude an energy. But there's so much here too that I think people probably originally came up with the idea of this mall. They weren't thinking hotels, even an aquarium below us. Where does the mall go from here? Like it just keeps to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, and actually our ownership actually did envision hotels, they an did. aquarium, a theme park. That was all part of the original plan. Cool. But they wanted to grow bigger and better and more exciting. We're currently 5.6 million square feet. We're going to grow to more than 10 million square feet. So we'll finally be big. Just finally, finally be huge. That's insane. Where are you going to put it all? Well, the property of the north, our newest, our next expansion is going to be a water park that's going to be amazing. It will connect right where those doors are. So you will walk through those doors into this amazing indoor water park. And then we have all the property of the north and to the east. So there's room to grow. I'm like, my mind is blown right now because I already feel like this is such a huge and beautiful thing. But if you're from here, this is still my favorite mall because I know where everything is. Do you hear that a lot from people? We do. And the other thing locals do is we park in the same place. I do every time. So I'm we Hawaii. know where to park, right? <laughs> I'm Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hawaii every time because I'm always like, where would I love to be right now? You've always also focused on local too though. And I think that nowadays people really want to shop local and they can do that even though you can also shop at H&M here. You know, you think of big brands, national brands, when you think of them all, and we have a lot of those. Right. But we also have more than 150 local owners or entrepreneurs or franchisees. So there's a lot of local brands that get their footing at Mall of America, and oftentimes they grow beyond the mall. Where do you envision this place? This is 30 years. Where do you envision you in 50 years from now? In 50 years, it will be bigger, it'll be better. Um, technology is going to play a big thing, but the thing the mall's always done well since day one in 1992 is experiences and creating memories and joy. We'll be doing that in 50 years from now. We'll be doing the same thing, but even better. Great job, Kendall. Thank you. Um, I, 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 you know, editorializing here for a second, but we're not a news show, so I don't care. But. I really hope selfishly that Bloomington, and, and if it makes sense for the good people of Bloomington, I hope they do approve the, the water park because the viability of malls, we know this, you, you can go to malls all across the country, they're dying. Mm -hmm. It's very smart of malls like MOA, you know, Rosedale has really reinvented itself as well into not just retail, but experiences. Mm -hmm. You know that, I mean, right. whether it's the Crayola experience that opened in the last five or six years, that's where the future is. Right, they want a destination. Yes. I go to the mall to not just shop, but to eat at really good restaurants or see a movie or go do something like the aquarium. Yeah. It's neat. I would love, I mean, we should have, if I'm a tourist, I'm coming to the Mall of America, I'm not from here, like if you're watching from Seattle, I think it's an even bigger draw if not only we have the uh, you know, North America's largest, because I think that's what it is now. Wait, Canada's might be bigger. We are America's largest mall, um, the U.S.'s largest mall. But if we can also boast that we have the largest indoor water extravaganza, mm -hmm. that will bring in more tourist dollars, which benefits the whole state, you know? And then you're even closer to Ikea, too. I'm just saying. <laughs> right right you, now, you have you to want walk. a water slide directly into the into Ikea? Please, into the bathroom section, and then I can just be like, oh, this would be really cute in my house. Sure. 
No, but I saw the rent, some of the renderings for yeah. what could be at the water park. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it, and I'm not a water park kind of guy. No. I'm no. not. No, I think it'll be really neat, and I like the positivity and the excitement that the mall just continues to drive here locally, you and, know? And it, got a, and it got a bad rap at, for, at first because it was, and it did, it pulled business from the Dales. Um, so it's really smart of them to recalibrate and go mm -hmm. for local brands. Oh, yeah. I mean, because mm -hmm. as you said beautifully in that interview, that's what that's what consumers want now. They want to shop local. They mm -hmm. you want to keep your money uh, in your hometown. So right, exactly. smart of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, next week. Uh, so the mall will be celebrating the milestone all year long. For details, go to mallofamerica.com. I believe next week. Because you all know if you watch the show, I'm there a lot. I'm a local that actually loves the MOA. Mm -hmm. I'll take you through kind of my routine. And within that, I'll give you some tips of how to do the mall right. Yes. And uh, with as m less stress as humanly possible. All my little tips and tricks. But right now, we're going to take a break. We have mailbag coming up and uh, kind of a venting session that I know you'll want to participate in. That and more when we come back. Back in a moment.